I'm gonna ask you a question. Okay. Right. So how important is the internet for artists? Right. 2009, 2010, the internet is everything, man. Internet is how you create your buzz. Internet is what you can do without any real funding that you can make yourself hot. The internet is where you go out and you show somebody your grind, or you show somebody your skills, or you show somebody you can sing, or you show somebody how you can look, or how you can dance. You can do that all that for free with the internet. All you need is a camera, you people doing it digitally, people doing it with their Macs, people doing it with their iPhones, it doesn't even matter, man. But the internet is what equals the playing field because the internet is international, it's worldwide. So no matter what you're doing with the internet, you can always get your get your fan base and get your shit to the masses without having any spend hardly any money. Like with some of the artists you work with and you know, and some of the things they do on the internet they do and you look at right now and you be like, okay, that's a good job. That was meaningful. Like as far as artists you work with right now. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I work with a lot of people. I was at Bad Boy for five years. Now I'm at Interscope. I've done a lot of independent work with different people. But um, I don't really like to use artists that are in the system as my grounds for what I've done. Because technically, when you're in the system already, it kind of like it's a machine behind you. So I like to use an example of an artist like Orion Leslie, who started out, you know, as a producer at Bad Boy. And then we went out and we created Cassie through the radio, through the internet. And then after Cassie came Sherry Dennis. Boy, I trust you and all, but I've been here before you. You remind me of pain, but I can't ignore you. And then I went down south and I, you know, got with my man Gorilla Zoe. Now I'm up here, I got an artist, my name is Chris Ivory. Obviously, Olivia Long got it's probably the, the big thing right now, moving right now. She's about to um, do a new deal. And I think that even though she was in the system, decisions and things were made when people really didn't know her. So it's been kind of a grind getting people to understand what kind of talent she does have and people to understand like what she's bringing to the table. So with all that being said, those are who I'm really proud of. Like Those are the artists who I can say, okay, well, I not only did I, along with 30 other people, I can say that these are my rich dollars, went out and did what he had to do for these artists, and this is how they got hot. Like Ryan Leslie was signed to Motown, and he wasn't coming out. He, didn't, he wasn't coming out. He wasn't doing music, you know what I mean? Until we put out Diamond Girl. You know what I'm saying? Sherry Dennis was on Bad Boy for eight years. Bacon. And had done some good shit and was mad talented, but until Ryan wrote and produced I Love You, and I, he was like, yo, Rich, this is a record I wrote and produced. I'm going to press up the wax. I need you to go work this record. You know what I mean? That's that's what I'm proud of. Shit like that. When you know somebody's been in a system and the system couldn't do nothing with them, but you as an individual and just hard work and determination can go take a, a Ryan or a Sherry or Olivia who has been in bad situations and make the shit right. You know what I mean? So now I'm looking at artists who is moving. Like this shit is moving now. And I, I'm, that's what I'm proud of. As a manager, as a promotional guy, that's the shit that makes you proud. So I seen, I seen what you did with Ron Leslie. I didn't witness a couple situations where you know you was blind. You can see the, the video online. Mm -hmm. You like to act and you know what's the steps to go towards how they get the records paid on the net. Mm -hmm. um, like what's the approach you're gonna do um, to the artists now, such as like Olivia? Well, Olivia is a little bit easier because everybody doesn't know the talent that she has, but they do know who she is. So you're not really going to get turned down. When you have a new artist, that's pretty much a basically somebody that nobody really knows. It's hard to get people up and running. You know what I mean? Because it's all about whether it's internet, whether it's radio, whether it's marketing, whether it's publicity. People always want to know, like, who knows this person? Like, I want, I want something exclusive on someone that's popping already. Like, uh, really, people don't want to make people pop. So all I can do now is... I mean, my, my methods are never going to change. They're always going to be the same from day one. You go out, you get something that you believe in, and you do what you need to do to get it to where other people believe. So whether that's having a record and going in the club every night and making sure Sus One or Clue or Self or any of these dudes are playing that record in the club, that gets people recognized. Or whether it's radio where you're getting on the phone and you're talking to Camillo or you're talking to Envy or, you know, self sus clue same dudes. You get people starting to get a get, get a foundation for what you're doing and then it becomes easier. 